Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Lionel. I'm your host for LT Productions, and you are watching I Watch You Watch. Uh, we are covering Sisters on BET. This is season seven, episode 22, and the finale. We did make it, y'all. <laughs> it's been rough, to say the least, but I think for the most part, most of us have powered through it. Now let's get into this review and analyzation of or critique of season seven. All right, so I have to go by memory. I watched it, but I didn't take any notes. Um, we start off with Rich. We know that Rich is now, I want to be the pappy in the office, stopping what was about to happen. And Sabrina's like, what are you talking about? Uh, DeMonte is just like, what's going on here? Like, she got my sperm, all this good stuff. He said, I want to be the pappy, blah, 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 blah. What? Me? what? <laughs> like, I I'll give you my sperm right now. And he tries to, the comedy part of it all is he starts taking off his belt and trying to pull down his pants to get the sperm. Whatever, sir. Um, and the nurse who's doing everything to inseminate the egg and sperm says, uh, no, there is extensive testing that we have to do. Sabrina was like, we have to see if your sperm is compatible compatible uh, with my egg. Da -da 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 -da. And Rich was like, look, I see, I see, uh, I, I want a baby with you. Da -da 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 -da. So at this point, Sabrina excuses DeMonte. Um, she does apologize for all of this, da 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 And says, I will talk to you. And then also tells Rick, like, we gotta have a, a, a bigger conversation than what we are right now. And he says, okay. So she says, meet me at my house. I don't know why we never see their homes. Um, meet me at my house so that we can talk. I gotta go apologize to DeMonte. And Rich is like, you don't need to apologize. What do you mean, dude? I don't understand. I hate how some most of the men on this show are written because everything has to be dumb. Everything has to be so uh, barbaric. Like, is that how men talk? All men talk like that? I mean, nobody really appreciated Calvin, but it's just like, you're a bullheaded. You, you talk like Fred Flintstone in all of these situations. Uh, uh. Stop all that. For real, I mean it, cause it's just, it's, no, let's stop. So the thing is done. Uh, we don't know where the women are at. We didn't get any more ex, um, exchange. We didn't get Maurice cussing out uh, Sabrina for wasting his time cause he could've been doing something else. You know, something to that nature. Um, I mean, since the girls, it, since the last episode was showing that the girls were showing up in a good way, we were getting more vibes from the earlier seasons from the sister circle than we are currently you know it, 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 if you understand because there's been a breach in the relationship mostly with Karen and Danny but it was just looking like oh we're kind of feeling some old vibes Ugh. and that's something I do want to talk about at least with the writing because it's like stuff gets picked up and dropped picked up and dropped like okay why did you give us this and not see it all the way through or give us a conclusion or something you know but whatever um the next scene I'm going by memory. I think this is with in. Uh, I'm gonna go with Fatima and Zach. Zach is home. Fatima is too. And Fatima's like uh, Zach is like Zach. Uh, I think he said Fatima. Where the f are you? And Fatima comes downstairs and says, "Don't talk to me like that, Zach." Um, and Zach is frustrated because he sees Fatima rush into here didn't say a word, you go upstairs and try to clean you off. So he's coming from a frustrated place. Now some people say, well, you don't talk to Karen like that, as I was seeing online. Can y'all, I don't like Karen either, but can y'all just, some things you're just not going to say even to a pregnant woman. Now, if he's just not saying anything, I guess, as you want to say, um, inflammatory towards Karen once these babies pop, Say something then, but I've been seeing on the line, you need to talk to Karen like that. Like, he's not going to yell at her. Do you know how great? Again, I'm not a Karen fan, but it's like, logically, no. Now, does it, should he be talking to Fatima like that? No. Do I understand why he talked to her like that then? Yeah, because it's like, what? So she finally confesses that she saw Gary. And uh, Fatima does. Because um, Zach, like, what is going on? She says, I saw Gary, and 
the security guard roughed me up a little. And then Zach's like, he did? Oh, he's dead. And then Patino pulls him and said, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? No, he's dead. He put his hands on you. He's already disrespected um, my baby mother, which I had some problems with that, and me at our baby shower, and also you. Wait, in chronicle, chronological order, it's still true. And y'all, too bad that he put Karen first. I get what it's looked like. Hopefully, it's not going to be like that forever. But my God, he's he's saying stuff in a, a, chrono, a chronological order, in my opinion. But y'all can say what y'all want. Um, so she said, let me handle it. I got this, Zach. Of course, Zach was like, no, 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 no. I got this. Right now, you got too much to lose. You got Michael and all that. And that's why when people are online, well, Fatima wouldn't do this. Zach wouldn't do this. But Danny wouldn't do that. Don't y'all remember what's happening? You, Zach can't lose Michael. One offense and, that, and Michael's gone. And since custody's been taken away from the mother, Michael's going into the system. That's not a favorable thing right now. You have another baby coming. Uh, Fatima did mention twins. Y'all had a problem with that because only one child. <laughs> but she's the one that said that that Zach and um, Aaron need to co-parent. And you just don't raise separate children like that. You don't. I mean, even though it doesn't really happen like that with twins being split between two parents, or two daddies, you know, but however, blended families just don't do that. Of course, I don't know how they're going to handle it in the future, but whatever. So, Zach said, okay, basically. All right, so we go to the office, and Ms. Marie is there. She's meeting with Hayden, and it's just now like, where is the evidence that I need to take my husband down? And Hayden was like, um, I think we're going to have to come do something else. There isn't any evidence out there. And then, of course, Marie is upset. And then here comes Andy. Andy says that I have proof that he has been cheating. We have just been looking in the wrong place. So she hands this folder to Miss Marie and it shows the information as far as what Maurice um, gave her that he's been on the, the gay chat lines. Um, Miss Marie said, you know, I speculated, but I never assumed. And then she was so excited that she's uh, going to not have her money be effed up. Neither her, um, uh, her um, empire will be affected. So she's very happy with Andy, and she said that she knows that she made the right decision. Da 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 da. Um, Hayden got egg on his face. I think Aiden, somebody excused Aiden, Hayden from the, the conversation, and Miss Maria was like, "Hey, we're going to." I, um, she said, "I really thank Jordan uh, for recommendation for the recommendation of you." Blah 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 blah. You really did your good thing for me, ma'am. And then all of a sudden, the look that's on um, Andy's face. Gary calls it a puppy dog face. <laughs> uh, but whatever. Um, and Miss Marie says, what's up? Um, of course, Andy's like, I can't tell you, blah, 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 blah. Miss Marie says, you can tell me. You've been all in my stuff. Let me see how I can help. She ends up telling them, her about Gary is forcing her to be married. He's going to do all these things to incriminate Jordan and I couldn't let that happen. And she said, okay, well, I will be talking with the bosses about my contract, da 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 and you can sign all this, da 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 um, and I will take care of the rest with Gary. And Andy was like, what do you mean? I will call you when things are taken care of. All right. So, obviously, now Miss Marie is involved in this. Uh, so we move on to Miss Marie going over to Hayden's office. Miss Marie was kind of in the mood for a little, you know what? Hayden wasn't because he's like, what was all that? Because he felt slighted. I guess now because they had sex that Miss Marie was going to treat him any different. Then she, he made a threat about telling his charities and telling her charities and stuff about and board members about um, the sex expates. And she's like, look, before you tell on me, I'm going to tell my own T. And she was like, I wish you would. <laughs> because basically she would wrap him up really tight and throw him right into the garbage you don't want to play with me so obviously whatever they had going on is over <laughs> and Hayden is left out to hang um, we're going to switch it over to Sabrina Sabrina and Rich they talk 
we're just like, I finally realized that I wanted you. I wanted a family. Um, I think what was going on with me is that I wanted, when I finally started seeing success in, in uh, the juice bar, I could finally see myself with children and, all, and a family and married and all that. Um, I couldn't see it beforehand. It was kind of a staunch no at the beginning of the season. So it's like, what? So your head was that focused on having a career and making sure all of that is together. Because we heard all your confessions during part A of the season. And now it's like, huh? <laughs> like okay, I don't, I don't necessarily think Rich deserves Sabrina. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I think that it's quite... It's like too little too late. It's like it's in the, he's in the situation of where he's like, I don't want to lose you. Because Sabrina's like, look, I want my family and I don't want you to change your mind and all this stuff and all this other BS that you could possibly do towards me. I don't know if you're really serious. He ends up I guess convincing her and I guess that they're going to go through with insemination. We go back up to the office and all of a sudden Pam is there. She's in a business suit. Why is she there? We do not know. We understand that she's going to do some roots riches stuff, but at the same time, this is, <laughs> these are not your people. And why are you there? So her and Miss Marie, they meet up and Miss Marie is very impressed with the edge stuff. Um, and she was asking, can any, uh, what about oh, investors? And Pam was like, yeah, sure, let's talk about this, da 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 da, da. Uh, So they're gonna set up a meeting for the, for someone to, uh, at least to seem like uh, Miss Marie is going to be an investor of Roots and Riches. So it's really taken off and it looks like Pam is not going to be a part of the shop pretty soon. You know? uh, the next thing I think, Well, before we get there, let's go to Hayden. Hayden goes back to, um, uh, goes home and he's in a mood. And basically he was thinking that he was gonna come home to a clean house and um, a home cooked meal. You know, that's not the type of lady that you decided to give, to give shelter to, sir. So they're going back and forth. And finally he opens her phone. He had to manhandle her and hold her down and he finds the incriminating evidence of her having sex with Gary. And then he turns it around for her to look at it and then, I'm sorry. And then she, he said, how many times did y'all sleep together? One time, and that was to get money for us. And he called BS. How many times did y'all sleep together? A couple of times. And I, if I was her, I would like really, define, if I was Aiden, I would say define a couple of times. He should have seen the texts too that were very nasty. But anyways, he ended up kicking her out. And then she was like, just like Gary said, you are a weak man. I said, lady, so you wanna act like Gary's word is fine and you wanna hit Gary when he already has said that your goodies stink and also it's too loose and you need to do Kegel exercises. You are one crazy girl, one crazy girl. Whatever, so that's over. Um, so now we kind of switch over to this whole Andy situation. Um, the girls are at Sabrina's home or whatever. They talk a little bit about Rich, but they want to, mainly are talking about Andy. Karen found out that the wedding is tonight, according to the episode. She saw her planner and all that good stuff. And they were trying to come up with a plan. Okay, so what are we going to do? What do you think is really up with Andy and why she wants to marry him so, so quickly and so much? Da, 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 da. Um, Danny's the only smart one in the room. She says, well, he's being investigated and possibly he wants her to marry him so that she can't incriminate him. And Sabrina and the camera's like, no, that can't be. <laughs> and, then they, and then she said, well, what are we going to do about this? And Danny said, we're gonna have to kill him. The camera's like, no, 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 we can't do that. Da, 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 da. Um, they end up calling Fatima um, they said that, uh, that Karen ended up saying, calling Fatima and saying, hey, um, uh, we know that Andy's getting married tonight. Where is it going to be at? Fatima ends up saying, okay, I'll message you where they're supposed to meet at and it's supposed to have the wedding. Da, 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 da. Um, Fatima says, you know, we got to go. And Zach's like, why we got to go? Because we do. Come on. Now, where's the babysitter at? 
they let that part out, but whatever. <laughs> um, um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? What was I going to say? So Fatima comes down and she's got this red purse. And then Zach was like, well, what is in this purse? It's for us. So basically, you obviously know that there's a valve out up in there. So anyways, at this point, we also find out on the flip end at the office that Andy has become a partner with the law firm. Marie says that she's moving all of her legal business over to the branch. So that's why they made her partner. Da, 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 da. She did end up telling Hayden that also. And basically says, it's your days or numbers. And you report to me. Da, 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 da. Um, she's on her way home or whatever. And she calls Jordan and says, hey, I'm a partner. And I'm getting married, but I really love you. Blah, 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 blah. We get to the church. Andy's there in her white. And also Gary's assistant, the, the white man. Jordan still ain't found out about this dude that's on his team. Let's talk about that a little bit later. Um, but anyways, he gets there. I think the girls show up, and basically they're about to hijack this wedding. They're not going through with this. Da, 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 da. The guy is there, uh, Gary's assistant, like, no, we're not doing this. Da, 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 da. And then I think in walks Jordan, and Jordan wants to have a talk with Andy. And again, Jordan's like, you don't have to do go along with this. I need you to tell me what's going on. Da, 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 da. She says, again, I'm doing this, and I got to do this. And that's just that. I can't remember everything word for word, blah, 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 blah. Um, Andy and Gary, they do meet for a second. And Gary was like, well, you know, it's bad luck for the bride and groom to meet, um, to see each other before the wedding. And Andy said, exactly my point. Um, whatever, he was still talking his ish about what he's going to do. You better go along with this, da, 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 da. So then... Andy comes back outside and they're ready for this wedding. Gary didn't show up or something to that nature or yeah, Andy goes back to see where Gary is at and she sees that he is stabbed. It looks like in his chest, not in his heart. And that right there lets you know that he's probably going to survive. So then Andy makes, uh, yells out this fake scream and then she's celebrating on the inside. So that was the end. Oh, my bad. Danny and Tony. Tony comes by with all of these flowers in his apology. He says, I apologize for not making up boundaries. Um, he never said that Danny was right. I got something to say about that. <laughs> but anyways, he says that Tiffany is being stationed to Italy, even though she was making plans to. Okay. And the children want to go with her. And Danny was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> um, Tony was sad about it. And Danny said, well, if I had a chance to go to Italy, I'm choosing Italy over you. <laughs> okay? So, anyways, that was the end of the episode. That didn't happen at the end, but I forgot about that part. Um, so it's open-ended to see, is Gary alive and who actually stabbed him? Anybody could have stabbed him by now. Maybe even Jasmine came back to stab him. Who knows? Maybe Penelope did. Who knows? Um, Hayden did talk to Gary. He didn't let on that he knows that he's been messing with Tamara but he did get an invitation as far as an address to uh, come to the wedding. And he was coming there hot and loaded. Um, but that was the end. Um, at least Gary got a little something after being a little terror. I think that Gary still needs to pay for his crimes or at least get a judgment against him. He has got to be known at least to the public that he's this dangerous evil man. Um, I think that he needs to be a ground, grounded up in a meat grinder, but let's see him get embarrassed publicly first after him thinking he's the big man. So if he's not dead, I can understand why he's not dead thus far, but he's got, something's got to happen to him in a more drastic way. Um, um, for this season, of course, you know that I have not been watching uh, for quite some time. I watched seasons one and two, I think faithfully, and got excited when I heard about uh, Zatima was coming and was like, wow, I watched Z Zatima, but I didn't watch the Sisters. Then I was hearing that they're not really telling the story like they're telling it. Like, Zatima and, and uh, Sisters are in two different universes. People didn't know how to differentiate between the two. And I get that. And that's why I was just kind of staying close to Zatima only. Um, I know it's an ensemble cast on Sisters and also on Zatima, but they are the main people on there, Zach and Fatima. But they were quite watered down, and they didn't really, from what we see from Zach and Fatima on 
Zatima. Opposed to Sisters is quite whitewashed, to say the least. Um, my overall synopsis of season eight or seven is kind of was weak. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a D. Now I did hang on all season. Um, I think you guys have been able to progress the show, moving it because they could go only a day or two if it was if Mr. Tyler Perry was just writing the show. But we've seen several weeks, days, and all that go by. I did like the speed. Um, I'm liking that you're speeding up this pregnancy. Of course, we did not want Karen to be pregnant with Zach's child. We wanted Zach and Fatima to do what they do. I honestly feel like Zach and Fatima aren't needed for, for sisters. Let them be spent off, at least in my opinion. Of course, Andy needs Fatima for stuff. Zach now has to be around for the baby, but it's like, I just don't see their characters flourishing like that anymore. Especially at how they are dimmed here on Sisters. That's my opinion. Um, people are like, oh, they made Andy stupid, but Andy's been stupid. <laughs> like, despite being this genius lawyer, she still had, I mean, look at her choice in men. Come on. Um, was, everybody's like, well, Karen needs to face her, her crap that she did. She is not at rock bottom to actually try to be a different person. She's pregnant, that's enough right now. Possibly when she does deliver, it's gonna be something different. What I will say is, hopefully for season eight, that there is some type of, of, of depression that Karen goes through, a postpartum depression. Possibly something like, she can't take care of the babies and she's gotta leave, and then everyone else steps in for Karen while she gets herself together. Something to that nature. I want Karen to hit rock bottom because she does treat people like ish. Um, for Danny, I think I understand why Danny was this season. She's trying to be a different person. I think she let certain stuff slide that she should not have let slide with Tony. Tony to me is trash. Um, I don't like how the stories have been picked up and dropped, picked up and dropped. You throw something out there and you never really at least conclude with what's going on. We should have seen Tony go off on Tiffany. We should have seen that he finally discovered about his child being a thief. Y'all called her a kleptomaniac. Possibly that. I think we should have seen that fall out. Because I don't understand how we went from, oh, the children are coming. To, oh, my wife is here. And then my wife all of a sudden wants him or back. Like, it did not make sense whatsoever to have this big of a clash. I understand that you were trying to find conflict with, with Dan, between Danny and Tony, but it's like, okay, that it's just like, y'all had the plot points, but wasn't really filling it in. And really made me hate Tony. Tony was such this supportive person. But Danny, go to, to therapy. I'm going to be here. I'm going to listen to you. Da, 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 da. She's opening up. And then you had him all of a sudden become this big old jerk when his family comes around. I'm like, uh, uh, that was just a little bit too much. Especially in 22 episodes, y'all really made him become unlikable. Rich never understood the story as to why he's with Sabrina, especially now. He didn't want children, and now he wants children. And it feels like still Sabrina's a trophy. And I don't want to lose you to someone else. If he's changed, he's changed, but I don't know about that because he's kind of unlikable. Jordan is not unlikable. I think Jordan was all over the place. And I don't like how the, the man was calling Andy a, a, a bit. That was Tony mostly. Like y'all answered everything too stereotypically for a guy that you see on shows. Like nobody has any type of logic or discernment or anything. Forget that, forget that B and go get you some hoes. Okay, whatever, y'all so stupid. Y'all don't even seem like friends to him. Like, it was just kind of stupid to me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give you a D, maybe a C minus D. I wanna see how things progress. For season eight um, and this will be my last trial if this if the show doesn't progress then I won't be reviewing it I might watch it see what happens and all that but as far as that I don't I, I'm no <laughs> I can't hang on you know possibly if I had kept watching from seasons like three four five and six then possibly I would be in a different place as far as my attitude but 
I'm just giving it until season eight to see what happens and how you turn things over. I think you guys tried to do your best with what you had. And there's still was a lot of misses because a lot of things did not come all the way through as far as what you guys created, not even what Tyler created. So y'all can tell me your thoughts in the comments below, but that's kind of what I think of the season and where I'm at with it. And I appreciate everyone for being with me uh, this season. You know, of course, there's a lot of things I didn't understand because I did pick it up after several seasons of not watching. Um, I am a, a fan of Mr. James Giddens, one of the head writers of, of Sisters. So that's why I really came over here and wanted to give them a shot and see what they could do. Um, I just appreciate you all for coming over here. Um, but again, leave your comments below. If you are not subscribed, subscribe and like this video. Until next season, we're still looking for that team up, BET. Let's go. Oh, but until next season, peace.